Hello, I'm Jeff Stanley from Stanley Handcrafted, and today I wanted to go over flash points and uh, what they are, what they mean, uh, what you should look out for, and what you don't need to be concerned about. Uh, when it comes down to it, the flash point is basically, uh, if, if you look on any of your fragrances, on the website or on the bottle itself, it should actually list a flash point. Uh, like this one is 118 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 175, 201, 212 degrees. And what that means is that's the temperature at which these can uh, combust or ignite when exposed near an open flame or a spark. Uh, when you're making a candle, you really don't have to worry about the flash point too much. Uh, actually, you don't have to worry about the flash point at all when you're pouring the, the fragrance oil into the wax. Uh, you definitely don't want to keep the fragrance oil around an open flame. Uh, so. When it comes down to shipping these and having fragrance oils around an open flame, that's the only time you're going to be concerned about a flash point. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions lately about flash points and when to add them. When you're heating up your wax, you don't need to worry about the flash point. Uh, you're going to go ahead and heat your wax up to uh, 180, around 180 degrees, depending on what the wax is, uh, give or take 5, 10 degrees. Uh, this one, this is uh, Candle Science Sex on the Beach. This one is 118 degrees. Uh, you don't need to worry about keeping your wax at 118 degrees. Go ahead and heat it up to 180, whatever you're using. Uh, let it cool down to wherever you're comfortable pouring the fragrance oil. Go ahead and add it, cool it, and pour, and you're going to be fine. Uh, the only thing you need to be concerned about is when you're making gel candles. And the reason you want to do that is because uh, when you make a gel candle, you want to make sure that you have a fragrance oil that's going to be higher than 170 degrees because the gel that's used for the gel candles, uh, they burn a little bit hotter uh, and they also don't hold the fragrance oil as well as the wax does. So when you're making a gel candle, the fragrance oil can seep up out of the uh, gel candle a little bit and it can pool at the top. Uh, and since those burn a little bit hotter than a typical candle, they can ignite. So that's definitely something you should be concerned about. So if you're making gel candles, definitely look at the flash points. But if you're just making soy candles, paraffin candles, uh, parasoy blends, or anything like that, you don't need to be concerned about the flash point. The flash point is only for shipping and if you're going to have these near an open flame, which you definitely don't want to do. So most people don't need to be concerned about having their fragrance oils near an open flame because when you pull your wax out of the double broiler or uh, the presto pot, whatever you're using to melt your wax, you're going to pour that in a separate pitcher and you're going to have it away from the open flame when you do add your fragrance oils. So again, the flash points uh, are only of concern if you're making a gel candle, and uh, we're going to cover that in another video, uh, and if you're shipping high altitudes. So again, the only thing you need to be concerned about with flash points is having them near open flames, uh, a candle company shipping these. So to kind of wrap up, you really don't need to be concerned about the flash points when you're making candles. Uh, that is strictly for shipping and having these around open flames, which you're typically not going to have. Even when you pour these into the wax, you're not going to have your wax near an open flame. You're going to have the pitcher off uh, wherever your station is, and you're going to add it once the wax cools down a little bit. Uh, you do not need to heat up the wax to, uh, like this one, 212 degrees. Somebody asked that one time. You definitely do not need to heat your wax to uh, 212 degrees. Uh, I don't know that a lot of waxes will heat up that high, uh, but you run the risk of burning your wax if you try to get it up that high also. So I hope I covered everything as far as flash points are concerned. If I did miss something, I'll try to update the video or I'll put it in the comment section below. Uh, if you do have any questions about flash points or if there's something that I missed or you had more questions about in this video, please ask them in the comments. I, I'm always in there commenting and uh, appreciate the suggestions. Uh, please subscribe for more and we've got a bunch more videos coming on the way. So thank you again. You can find us on uh, Instagram, Stanley Handcrafted, uh, Facebook, Stanley Handcrafted, and Twitter at Stanley Made. And our website is stanleyhandcrafted.com.